Long shot parlay of Mosley beating Mayweather and Pacquiao needing an opponent or of Pacquiao and Mayweather unable to reach an agreement again and he's standing there and waiting for Pacquiao. Larry, does either fighter in the Mosley Mayweather fight have a rematch clause? Yes, there is one between uh, Mayweather and, and Mosley if, uh, May, if Mosley should win. So if Mosley wins, uh, that would occupy the two of them for the rest of this year, presumably. Unless Mosley wins in such a devastating manner that maybe Mayweather and other public may not want a rematch, but I doubt if that would happen. Uh, interesting point. Uh, Emmanuel, this is the third straight southpaw. Again, which, and that's a slip, according to referee Tommy Kimmons. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Berto is saying that he got hit behind the head. Kimmons ruled it a slip. I was about to say, Emmanuel, that this is the third straight fight against a southpaw for Berto. And interestingly, his punch connect percentage goes up against southpaws. He even connects more with his jab against southpaws. How could that happen? That, that may be a little different in this case here with Quintana, because Quintana is like jabbing, but still trying to keep his body back out of the fight zone, so to say. So it's going to be where Berto's going to have to really stretch to hit him. Stop. Hey, Quintana hey, don't, has, that, in I both of it, his losses it. against hey, Cotto and Williams, go. he was in trouble in the first round. Knocked out by Williams in the first round. He made it through five against Cotto before retiring. Cotto sledgehammered him to the body. Berto is looking for openings. Stop! No! Hey. Five. If you haven't seen Andre Berto before, if you haven't seen Andre Berto before, a key identifying factor is hand speed. Very explosive to it. He doesn't, you know, stay busy jabbing and he likes to explode with maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten punches at one time. That's his style that he had, even in the amateurs. Very exciting fighter because of those explosions. One of the best and most natural uppercuts I think I've ever seen, Emmanuel, with either hand. Very, very good punch with either hand. Let him go, Bardo. Explain that he's trying to follow the blueprint of Cotto nobody, when nobody. he beat Quintana by putting pressure on him. You know, every time that Bertos takes one step forward, you notice Quintana kind of itches back a little bit, inches the back. He's always keeping that distance for the way Bertos got to get out of position to punch. And while Berto is trying to pressure Quintana, as Larry said, he hasn't yet made the kind of definitive contact that Cotto was able to make with that style. Stop! No punching. No punching. Hey. And hey. again, Berto no, complains. No, 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 no. And I can't tell for certain whether he's complaining that he's being held or that he's being hit in the back of the head, yeah, but it may be both. Yeah, he likes it in the head. Don't worry about it. Relax. Listen. Relax. Relax. I know. Yeah. Look, yeah, you got work, dude. Nice and relax. Breathe. All right, listen. Keep your hands up tight. Don't jump in, all right? Change your height and slide your way in. Right? Listen. Breathe. You hear me? It's legal. It's legal. No, no, it's no, no. Yes, it's, it's, it's clean. It's clean, boy. No. Okay. Bye. Breathe Indio. now. No, 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 no. Indio. Don't worry about that. Be careful, okay? Be careful he doesn't take a point away, all right? He's trying. But right here, you see Quintana come up, and he throws his left hand. It hits Berto to me seemingly, which was probably in a proper area, and it really probably should have been Richard as a knockdown. It was behind the ear. Well, it was kind of like in a gray area, but it's enough where it could have been a knockdown. I didn't see where it was a flagrant rabbit punch. I agree rabbit with you. Punch. I think it could have been 50 It, it was a rabbit punch. Harold Letterman gives the first round to Berto. Combi box numbers slightly favored Quintana, 10 out of 53. As to 8 out of 38, Harold probably giving Berto the round on the basis of cleaner, sharper contact. You're right. what, what Quintana doing is trying to time Berto's right hand and bend over to his left to, and, and, and to make Berto miss. Because he sees Berto trying to pretty much gamble on just that right hand. There's that sneak left hook that gave 
Paul Williams, so many problems in their first Stop. fight. Break, break me. Come on, break me. Let's and go. Seemed to stun Berto momentarily. Indeed, the looping left hand over the top, which was Quintana's primary scoring weapon against Williams. He landed it early in the round here against Berto. Stop. Break me. We're only four minutes in, but I'm sensing, Emmanuel, that Berto's off to something of, a, of an iffy start. And that, I think, under these emotional circumstances is not surprising. And Quint, uh, Quintana is working that right jab and, and always looking for the right hand back from Berto. Stop! Break clean. Quintana held Berto's left arm during that entire exchange. Tommy Kimmons was on the other side. That happens fairly frequently. No, no, no. Stand up. Berto gets in a right hand to the body. Let's go. Uh, to me, for the most part, uh, this Quintana is winning this round. I mean, he's outboxing him, and he's taking away Berto's main punch, which is that right hand. He's by slippery avoiding it. Until Berto get, can get a range to land something else, he's being outboxed right now. And if the, that knockdown had been scored officially the first round, Quintana would have two rounds in the round. But Wait. Berto is starting to get no closer no now no as the round comes toward oh, the end. Good. And there's a little smile on Andres Berto's, fa Berto's face. He insisted to us yesterday that the result of the emotional trauma will not be concentration problems, but rather he'll be more focused, more intense, have more purpose than ever before. Well, this round here I've given to Quintana. I don't know what the judges no, 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 no. but I saw Berto missing his punching, and I saw the difference being the right jabs with and a few left hands that been landed by Quintana. Hey, the one big left hand early in the round might have been enough to win it for Quintana so far. But, you know, I don't know if Quintana can stay away under this pressure because he's not the fastest guy on this field. Yes, and he clearly doesn't like Berto's pressure. Tune in April 13 for the next Real Sports. This special boxing edition investigates the passing of former champions Alexis Arguello, Arturo Gatti, and Vernon Forrest, who all died violent, premature deaths within months of one another last year. April 24, Boxing After Dark returns with heavyweight Chris Ariola taking on Tomas Adamic. Also that night, Alfredo Angulo faces Joel Julio. Ariola versus Adamic. There will be contact. I love that fight. Go in, don't lean on him, rely on your own legs, okay? There's Dr. Barth Green of the Miami Project. At HBO Sports, we've known him for years, first for his involvement in spinal cord research, and now for his involvement in Haitian relief. A medical hero here and around the world. It's early, but I don't think that uh, Manny Mosley or Junior are losing any sleep over Berto. If they're watching. I'll do it again. Go. Tommy Kimmons one more time warns Quintana about holding behind the head. Or hitting behind the head. Copy box numbers in round two favored Quintana. 13 out of 23 power shots in particular. Berto's going to have to tighten up his defense or put Quintana on the defensive move. Break! No budget. Go back. Good left hook by Berto. No budget. No budget. No budget. No Let's go. Left hand to the body by Quintana. Go, Work out of it. A couple of times already early in his career, Berto has been guilty of falling into the trap of fighting in an opponent's style rather than his own. In his hardest fight against Luis Galazzo, he went inside and fought Galazzo's fight most of the night, finally subduing him in the 11th and 12th. He landed his best punch of the fight there. He threw he it right in and came back Don't with a straight it. left, short left, oh, after that. 
Another good left hand by Berto. Yeah. Seems to be getting a little more comfortable, Emmanuel. Yeah, well, Brent Tanner just, to, to me, doesn't have the hand speed. He's tried to smart, but he just doesn't have the hand speed. Berto is much more crisper and more explosive and much faster. No punching, no punching. No punching. Come around. Despite the hand speed and the clear athletic talent, Berto is not a volume puncher. When you're shorter than most of your opponents, it's difficult to pour punches onto them. But now, he's making his mark. Berto rising. Quintana more and more on the defensive. Yeah, Quintana can't match him punch or punch in those kind of exchanges. Quintana has to keep things at a distance where he can pick and pick here in a clean pot shot, but he can't ex ex exchange with Berto, and he knows it. Berto's way too fast. The look on Berto's face suggests that his confidence is going up. And Quintana is going to flirt with disqualification if this keeps up. There is a point deduction. And frankly, I think that one was deserved. Got it one point. In this corner. All right. Box! Quintana's corner insisted to him after the first round it was a legal punch. Tommy Kimmons now disagrees. So the point deduction really hurts Quintana. The fighter who's much more likely to be looking for a decision in the fight than contemplating the possibility of a KO. Lively, be careful of those things because the ref is getting, he's coming for you. Come on, Indio. We gotta take the lead now. We've gotta take the lead, we gotta take our fight, our fight. Bow Wow and Chris Brown. There's a, uh, a big-time hip-hop community in Miami, here in South Florida, just as there are many fighters who live in South Florida. So even though the crowd is not large tonight, it's star-studded, both from the musical world and from the boxing world. Here we see where the point was deducted right here, where you see Quintana went around the back, and then after he got him around, he then he hit him with a punch. And not that it was that devastating, but it was just enough to probably take a point away that may be a deciding factor in this fight if it goes to distance. Copy box numbers in three. Berto 16 out of 57. Quintana 13 out of 46. Let's see if Harold Letterman made it a 10-8 round. Harold, how do you have it? Well, you got to make it a 10-8 round, Jim. I think Berto won that round. That's for sure, 10-9. And the referee takes away a point, becomes 10-8. Be as it may, 2-1, to 29-27, Andre Berto. I thought Quintana did enough in the second round, especially with that big left hand early to win round two. Berto, with nice straight right hands, won the first round. I thought he won the third. Jim, I gotta tell you, the way to beat Carlos Quintana is you gotta get up first on the guy. You gotta keep backing him up, throw the first punch every time. If Quintana throws the first punch, he's very effective. 2-1, to one, Berto. Stop! No punching, no punching. Let's go. Box. Stop! No punching. Then go. Turn around. Box. Okay. Stop! No punching. Hey, hey. Let's go. So now Kimmons warns Quintana not to hold Berto's left arm, which he's done on two or three occasions. It's a rough, scratchy fight. Very rough fight right there. You Gradually, like, Andre Berto seems to be making his point with sharper punches. Yes, and I think the referee and Quintana's got a little personal thing going between them now, too. So. Nope, nope. There we go again. Now, that could have also been a foul. Yeah, but to some degree, it's Berto's fault because he's turning away. Oh, no punching, no punching. All this wrestling and holding reminds me of the stories of uh, all those Burmese pythons that are loose and proliferating in Florida. <laughs> Some of them growing to 20 feet long and wandering into people's backyards. Good left hand over the top by Berto. Heavy shot to the body. Berto is starting to make bigger and bigger impact. This is this is how Cotto uh, dominated Quintana, getting him on the ropes, pounding him hard. <laughs> 